back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to use app shortcuts as well as siri shortcuts using app intents uh, in flutter for ios i have already made a video on how to use app shortcuts for flutter android this would be for ios so yeah let's see a demo on it first all i will show you the demo for our app so here you can see uh, i have this uh, app uh, which adds some data to swift data so swift data is a local database if you are not aware you can use core data as well like this functionality can be anything uh, just for simplicity i am uh, adding some data to our swift data database and uh, swift data is a local database and here you can see uh, once the shortcut is called i am adding this task to our to do list so if i click on uh, add to do so i will just add some task for now just so that uh, you know okay so i have added this task now what i will do is i will close i will close this app completely okay uh, i'll go to shortcuts and here i will click on plus i'll click on add action i'll go to apps i'll select my app so my app is data infuse i'll click on add data to swift data so this was the action but you can add any action whatever you want to and cl i'll click on done now i will just uh, click on uh, add data to data infuse and here you can see added data to my app i'll click on done and if i go back to my app again here you can see the data was added so yeah uh, this is the demo let's have a look at the code at the demo first so here as you can see i will add some our shortcut to siri and what i'm doing in that shortcut is basically adding data to my swift data database so it is a swift data is a local database so firstly i will add some uh, data to my swift database manually so uh, i'll click on continue i'll add something okay i'll click on okay now what i'll do is uh, i can close this app i will go to device so you can access siri even on a simulator so i'll click on siri and before uh, telling something to siri so these are the phases we phrases which you can say to siri so application name is basically whatever your app name is okay so i can say something like log data to uh, data infuse data infuse is the name of my app uh, and uh, first of all siri will add your shortcut uh, app shortcut then only it can uh, do the required operation so i'll show you I'll click on device i'll click on siri log data to data infuse log data to data infuse swift data so here you can see i'll click on turn on so added data to my app so what i'll do is i'll just uh, remove this completely from background so here you can see that shortcut was added and this was the operation and in this operation i was uh, adding this uh, my shortcut task because i have hard coded the task name so let's have a look at the code uh, in more detail this uh, what i am doing is that i am using swift data so if you don't know swift data is a local database similar to sql SQLite for ios and uh, i will create a shortcut to insert data into that uh, swift data database uh, so i have already made a video on swift data but uh, the shortcut doesn't ha is not related to swift data at all it can be anything like uploading a file to a server creating an alarm creating a to-do list it can be anything so just for simplicity sake i have taken a swift data and i have already made a video on swift data previously so i won't explain much about swift data this video is only about app shortcuts and siri shortcuts so i'll quickly go through the setup first of swift data but if you are curious of swift, for swift data you can watch my previous video about swift data so here you can see i have take i have refactored my home page widget and created a method channel for swift data I have one text editing controller because I want to edit some I want to enter some data inside my text edit text for uh, text uh, text field and uh, then if the user clicks on add that data is added to Swift data uh, that is for general purpose but sh for shortcut uh, we won't require text edit right uh, just clicking on the shortcut it automatically adds data to Swift data so here I have created a method channel for sending data from native side to flutter side as well a stream stream subscription as well and inside the init state i have uh, created this subscription like initializing this subscription and i'm also using get all to get all the data which are present inside my swift data database so here as you can see i'm invoking that method and disposing my controller 
and inside safe area I have taken a column which have a text field this text button for inserting some data this is for reading the data uh, this is for deleting data uh, this is for updating the data and I have taken a list view to display the entire data next go to open the iOS folder inside Xcode the XC workspace and here I have taken a database a database service class which will help us to initialize our scheme schema uh, save task fetch task update task as well as delete task then I have taken a to-do model as well so which uh, help us to create a tables kind of sort which has an ID as well as a task name uh, and inside app delegate uh, here you can see that I have created that event channel event sync a list of to-do models our service this will be a singleton and this database service we will be using uh, inside our app shortcuts as well and here I have created an array of strings because we will be converting our Swift data list to string uh, because a fl a Flutter can't directly handle this to do model. Okay, uh, here I am initializing our service. Here I am creating a controller as well as SQLite channel. Then I am creating a Flutter event channel as well. And here I am calling insert data. In insert data, I am just calling save task as well as I am fetching the data again. Similarly, read data, fetch the data. In delete data, I am deleting the data and calling fetch data again. Similarly, for updating the data as well updating the data and fetching the data and inside fetch data uh, this is how I am fetching the data and here I am uh, initializing our event sync also I am uh, implementing this flutter stream handler as well now these were all things for swift data now come the actual part of adding a shortcut now if you want to just add a shortcut to your shortcut app you have to define a class swift class you can name it anything but it has to implement from app intent and you have to add this to imports and here inside title you can add it you can add the string whatever you like like whatever your shortcut should do so if it is upload a file to a server you can name it something like this i am just adding add data to swift data and here inside perform you will actually have to write your bit of logic on what the shortcut should do so here you can see i have told you that we will be creating you making use of this database service class so that's what i'm doing and i'm just calling the save task method of our service and for now i have just hard coded this task but yeah you can add uh, whatever you feel like and uh, here i'm returning the dialog so once you click on that particular shortcut you are seeing a dialog pop-ups right uh, which says added data to my app if you don't want that pop-up you can just comment this out on comment this code and here you can remove this okay but i prefer to have this dialog that's why i'm adding it over here now uh, that's it okay uh, that's it for shortcut app uh, now coming to siri shortcut so for siri shortcut you have to define this next you have to define another class called add task siri shortcuts it has to extend from app shortcuts provider and here you have to define an array uh, i have just defined one inside the array so here you have to so here you can see it is referring to the shortcut add task shortcut intent so this one and it inherently calls this a method one series shortcut is called and here you can define multiple phrases so if you remember while telling it to siri i was saying this phrase so application name would be your application name so instead of application name you might say log data to my flutter app or log data to my to, to flutter app swift data something like that and you are, you also have to define a short title and a system image yeah that's it uh, that's how you add a shortcut as well as a series shortcut using app intents in flutter uh, thank you for watching bye